the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Our confidence must come or be derived from the provisions that the scripture allows. The Bible says in obtaining promises, if it is God's way, there are two things that must be added to your equation. Faith and patience. It says to follow them who through faith and patience. If you ever meet a man who obtained a promise in the kingdom and you do not find the application of faith and you do not find patience, he says run away. Even if there is a promise, he's holding. So there is faith and patience. Are we together now? when you understand the administration of the word of god then it is going to be difficult for you to delve into error i give you an instance if god opens my eyes right now and say i see a dear sister here and i see a spirit standing behind her or i see a grave now i'm interpreting how spiritual things happen now i'm seeing all these kinds of things because the way the realm of the spirit works is very different from the way this realm works the concept of time and distance in the realm of the spirit is not exactly the way it works here in one minute i can see something that would take me 10 minutes to interpret are we together now yes the 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 capacity to assimilate is higher in the realm of the spirit than this realm we can be praying right now and i can say in jesus name and i'll be sharing something that i just saw and it will take over five ten minutes the realm of the spirit is by far superior to this realm when the hand wrote on the wall in the days of daniel it was only four words from the physical realm mene mene tekel ufesen but mene alone meant oh king you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting <laughs> so imagine what happens when you pray in tongues that 10 minutes of praying in tongues you are not just saying ba 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 your mind thinks that's what you are saying but in the realm of the spirit you are stretching and you are creating realities and interacting with the realm of the spirit are we blessed now i hope someone is learning something so back to my vision i'm seeing this lady for instance and i'm seeing a grave and i'm seeing destruction now i can interpret everything based on what i saw and i say young lady stand up and then i will tell her that i just saw a grave i just saw a spirit behind you and i can leave that lady in that state and destroy her faith dampen her confidence about god and allow the devil to now take advantage of her imagination and manifest what i saw or i can interpret what i have seen from the lens of scripture now i have seen the grave the grave has never been except for the situation of jesus the grave has never really been a place of advantage it's a representation of death and doom and destruction is that true so when i see a grave and i see a spirit i must be able to pass my vision through the lens of scripture to profit that lady the interpretation must be constructed in a way and a manner that regardless what i saw victory is what she must hear are you getting what i'm saying now my seeing may be correct but because I do not know that the word of God 
is more superior listen the dominion of the word of god is not only in this physical realm even if you take the word of god to the realm of the spirit every spirit will submit to it also if god the spirit submits to the word of god there is no other spirit that stands higher than the word of god the word of god still commands authority and dominion even in the realm of the spirit are we together So if I see you dead in the realm of the spirit, I'm not just going to stand and say, I see you dead. There are many scriptures that will support my interpretation. Number one, I will discern your level of maturity. Are you matured enough for me to give you that vision without it affecting your confidence? If I discern you are immature, I will leave it and pray about it. I will just minister life to you and not have to tell you the vision. Because receiving that vision when you are not grounded, even if I pray for you, the, the level of, of the low level of transformation will still make you a victim of what I've said. Is God teaching someone something this morning? There have been many times when I'm about to take a trip and then I get text messages from people and many genuine, sincere people, some of them prophets, and they say, Apostle, you are about to take a trip. And I say, that's exactly true. Say, be careful. Please don't go. I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident. And they are not lying. That was what Satan planned that morning when I woke up. But I have to get there because... I'm aware that Satan does not have any special occasion to kill me. The Bible already gives me an information that any day and any time he finds a chance. He is an enemy. There is no rest as far as that agenda is concerned. So that news of, of tragedy based on my transformation is not news. I have always known he does not like me. There's nothing new about it. Now listen, I do not dishonor the vision that that man saw. But then my confidence is based on the fact that I have the principles of scripture that can veto that spiritual activity and I go on my journey and return back safely. Just on hearing that vision, at least three scriptures come as weapons. One, I shall not die, but live and declare. You don't just make bold face for nothing. There has to be a scriptural basis. Number two, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. Go and ask my parents. Go and ask every spiritual leader in this nation whether I have dishonored them. So what becomes the basis? Where is the hedge broken that the serpent will strike? And then number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life. That becomes the basis of my confidence. If all I say is, God forbid, I wouldn't die. You would die like you, are, you cannot imagine. It has to be the scripture. That the scripture has authority even in the realm of the spirit. I don't need to know what spirit was assigned. I just need to know that every spirit must submit to scripture. I pray you understand what I'm teaching this morning. Let me teach you within the few minutes we have left how to correctly access the supernatural. We'll have some time this evening to pray for the sick and to minister. So do well to invite as many people who are trusting the Lord who we'll have some time to minister. I think you should clap with your pastor too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. It will be, it will be a time of activations there are many of us who the lord sent you to this conference to come and to receive not just to be enlightened but to encounter graces graces that will lift you and open up new doors and new dimensions for you if you're with me say amen, amen. there are many of you that tonight age-long captivities that have refused to bow to the name and the lordship of the christ by the administration of his power through his word in the name of Jesus, we'll ward off these arsenals of darkness against your life. There are four keys that can help you manifest the supernatural. By manifesting the supernatural, I don't just mean visionary experiences, 
but walking practically in the supernatural you want your life to command signs and wonders you want your life to be a manifestation of the possibilities of the kingdom beyond the physical realm here are the keys number one the first thing you need is knowledge you need knowledge of the principles of scripture you need to know the word of god knowledge of the principles of scripture that means if you truly do not know the word if you do not contend for enlightenment through the word you may never be able to manifest the supernatural in a way that profits you glorifies jesus and becomes a blessing to all who are connected to you the word of god the formula remains the same in the beginning god john 1 verse 1 says in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god verse 2 says the same was in the beginning with god verse 3 says all things how many things does that include your finances your lifting your tomorrow your exaltation your restoration all things were made by him and without him that means outside of the influence of the word of god was not anything made that was made you must pay attention to scriptures i commend you to god he says and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified this is the bible colossians chapter 3 and verse 16 it says that the word of christ should dwell in you richly in all wisdom in all wisdom in all wisdom in all wisdom not some wisdom let the word of christ dwell in you richly 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 you must allow the word of god to find expression within your spirit you must become an addict of the word of god if you truly want to walk in the supernatural before you start engaging in spiritual exercises make sure you have the fortification of the word fasting for days praying for days without a foundation of the word will only expose you to the realm of the spirit but then it will expose you to familiar spirits you must have that foundation of the word we are born of the word we live by the word we reign by the word say amen, amen. you must have knowledge I submit to you that there is a lot of spiritual ignorance in the body of Christ spiritual ignorance I respectfully admit and now I'm teaching apostolically not just to house on the rock but generally within the body of Christ the truth is that there is a lot of Bible study there is a lot of scripture recitation but there is very little access to superior knowledge spiritual knowledge we reign in this kingdom on the strength of the high level illumination that we have you must contend for light john 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not you must become a student of scripture not for the purpose of preaching not for the purpose of having something to say but for your personal spiritual growth you are mature to the degree to which the word of christ abides in you john 15 the first eight, eight verses when you read from verse 1 down to verse 8 it talks of the abiding power of the word if you abide in me and my word abides in you that you will ask whatever you will and it will be given to you you have to abide I believe the word of God I study the word of God I love the word of God it is my meditation all day long it has constructed my understanding are we together one advantage of the word of God is that it constructs your viewpoint you are able to interpret life from the lens of scripture 
make the word of god a priority in your life and you have set yourself on a course for supernatural living i guarantee you on this the bible contains the wisest perspective on all matters the bible scripture contains the wisest perspective on all matters now in truth i will tell you you will find a lot of theological debates as to um the fact that there may be other books of the bible and it's not only 66 books i agree i agree based on theology but the bible lets us know that this that has been canonized is sufficient to communicate the whole counsel of god as far as the excelling of the believer is concerned there is nothing that you will ever encounter in your life that does not have a solution based on scripture so the information here is sufficient enough it says many miracles jesus did which are not recorded in this book so it tells you there are others that are not recorded he said but this has been recorded that you will believe and that in believing you will find life the truths here are sufficient to administer life and victory as far as the course of your lifetime is concerned are we blessed knowledge the knowledge of scripture and let me tell you this the seed for the harvest of knowledge is to be able to set yourself to give yourself to study and to give yourself to learning the bible says study to show yourself approved a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth preachers we must study believers we must study i am in a hurry would destroy our lives i am in a hurry would destroy our lives they are life to those who find them they are more than information to those who find them they are life the bible is not a lecture manual it contains the character of god it is a revelation of god's ways his modus operandi when you understand scripture you are enlightened dominion the word exousia that is translated authority it means delegated power that is based on light the power to stand and represent another based on that information that that one had that means if i send someone to stand for me i would not just say delegate for me until i tell him what i know are we together now that sharing together so you come to a point of illumination number two very quickly the second key that activates the supernatural are we ready yes the second key is faith you must have faith in God you must have the faith of God mark 11 We'll start reading from verse 22 mark 11 this is jesus about to teach us his classic on faith jesus said unto them have faith in god for many of you who are familiar with the writings of men like papa Hagen, they would interpret this as have the faith of god next verse he says this is how the character of faith in god or the faith of god works whatsoever thou shalt say so in faith there is a saying be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. So the heart is part of the equation for faith and shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. The Bible says he shall have whatsoever he saith. The general rule is in verse 24. Verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, so we see that prayer is part of the faith equation believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them you cannot manifest the supernatural if there is no faith what is faith your conviction faith is beyond believing the word believing comes from the Greek word pistis it means conviction but it does not stay with conviction you can believe and yet you have not manifested faith faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction on who god is and the integrity of his word there has to be action for it to be called faith and the action will be in accordance to the conditions he's created you don't just act at random every promise in scripture has a a predefined condition attached to it 
if you want to prosper in the kingdom you want supernatural prosperity and the blessings of god it is your responsibility to find out the principles that connect to that possibility there is he that scattered the bible says and yet increase it there is he that withholdeth more than is meat and tends to poverty the diligent hand shall be made fat so these are all the tools that make for prosperity in the kingdom there is a place for diligence there is a place for favor there is a place for the anointing there is a place for sowing and all of these things put together when you know them and you act upon them you put pressure on god's integrity and then you begin to see a manifestation of the same most believers believe but they do not have faith if i ask you for instance to come up here and you keep speaking and say i am coming in the name of jesus i am coming in fact i'm running i'm in a hurry i'm coming you heard me and you are communicating with me but you have not come so many people just continue to confess and there is a place for that it's from the word homologio it means repeat as you heard to confess means to to echo it again as stated by the word but it does not mean that you just confess over everything and sit down. There are things that you need to stand up and move. You need to act. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day. It says that you shall be exalted above the nations of the earth, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you you must be careful to do not just to learn faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what god has said the power is in the doing are we together now when he commanded the ten lepers go and show yourself to the priest he said the bible says as they went not as they wished not as they were deciding it was as they went turning water to wine john 2 he says fetch and go and serve the bible says as they were going that risk was what turned the water to wine can i tell you the truth if you will ever raise a dead body you must have the faith to stand before one if you cannot have the courage to stand before a dead body forget about resurrection and i can tell you firsthand in my life i've stood in front of a few dead bodies usually when people die people are quick to call me and you know try to pray for their resurrection first before eventually they give up so i get this quite honestly maybe at least once every week someone has died apostle we believe something can happen and i agree i've used it to exercise my faith uh, i don't know if i've shared it here the first time it was the anatomy lab of abu zaria you know they have a mortuary there someone died and they took me there and closed the door yes sir i saw dead bodies and i was wondering now, which one am i going to pray for <sighs> faith that's right faith i laid my hands on that dead body and it was as if i was touching a stone had been embalmed in the name of jesus come back to life the name of jesus come back to life i said everything quoted everything declared remember try to remember how jesus raised the the son of the, the widow at Nain, lazarus all these people nothing worked do you know to be honest with you at the point i stood there and i told them i said you people should open the door for me the next time would be the mortuary of the teaching hospital now they locked me there because usually they don't allow that so they smuggled me in and closed the door so many dead bodies some lying on that and i was watching you ah i was afraid until fear do you know let me tell you one of the ways that god takes away fear look up please let me teach you something one of the ways that god takes away fear is to bring you face to face with what you are afraid of you will stay with it so long you will stop being afraid of it i prayed and prayed and nothing happened and i just used the opportunity to think about my life 
at least let me not waste that moment before they open the door everyone here was once alive oh god teach me to number my days that i may apply my heart unto wisdom how did i get here i'm teaching about faith <laughs> hallelujah you must manifest faith now for a long time i have a few more minutes for a long time there has been a debate especially between the charismatics and you know certain believers that we may call respectfully speaking maybe word of faith it's been that there are people who choose listen carefully there are people who choose faith and there are people who choose the holy ghost are we together the pentecostals and the charismatics generally so the word of faith people for instance now this is not we're all word of faith you understand what i'm saying there are people who just believe that all it takes is just your faith leave the holy ghost once you have faith let he can go places and there are those who believe forget about faith faith is nonsense once you have the holy ghost just move the bible has never dichotomized faith and the holy ghost let me explain to you the ministry of faith and the holy ghost please look up i'm holding here a bottle of water the bottle is faith the holy ghost is akin to the water are we together now the power of the holy ghost has to flow through that funnel called your faith so the assignment listen to me faith has no power in itself faith is just a system of connection you must believe faith but not idolize it there is there is no dogma out of faith faith is simply a system of connection faith connects you your situation to the power of god but the agency that really brings the result is not faith it is the power of god it is his divine power that gives us all things but when we say it happened through your faith you are right because it was your faith that connected you are we together now yes can i can i use one example with money will you be sad if i bring out money praise god because there are people who are not in the mood for this kind of joke <laughs> praise the name of the lord now watch this this is a hundred dollar bill are we together if i want a bottle of water watch this and this is a hundred dollars this hundred dollar bill connects me to the possibility of taking this water is that true so if you ask me how are you going to get this water i will lift this and tell you this is the assurance i have that i can get the water but what do i really need which of them do i need which one brings the satisfaction which one brings the nourishment it is not the money but without this i cannot access this that is the union between the faith and the power of god faith and the power of god don't dichotomize it no it takes faith to access the power of god it takes the power of god to provide solutions faith does not provide solutions faith is like currency currency can feed you you are right but currency is not food are you getting this example now yes so if i ask you how do you think you'll be able to buy or pay for that house you lift this if i ask you how did you purchase the house you say by god's grace i had a hundred thousand or fifty million or whatever to buy the house but it is you are not going to live in the money you will live in the house this is how faith works the assignment of faith comes to an end the moment the power of god is released are we together now you have to learn this this is what i want the miracles the breakthroughs the increase whatever it is but this is what will bring it faith so i do not ignore this and start glorifying this while i'm dying of thirst this comes so that i can use it to purchase this possibility so when god wants me to have more of this he gives me more of this are you seeing now there is there is no there is no fighting when god wants me to always have this he will make sure i always have this 
but this is not really what satisfies me this connects me to what provides solution for me if you understand this there will be no there will be no confusion as to the ministry of faith and the ministry of the power of god dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline